Welcome everyone back to Outlast. Now I left off. Kinda got myself the camera working again. And yeah, exactly you know from when we uh, lost the camera temporarily. Uh, it's basically blind, had only the had only the you know oh shit. I mean of course this place is falling down, right? I mean sometimes I definitely don't need the light of time, you know? All the blood. All the blood. Oh uh, yeah, I think I do. I need that right now. I need that so bad, right? Fucking hell! Oh well. Why don't I got over here? You think? I don't think it's that way. I mean, sure, I know that say it's pointing to go that way, but. uh... Regarding certain, certain conditions over here, I don't think that could be... Ooh. Be quite the way. Regardless. <coughs> just come the fucking hell on. Move on already. You won't like this for the for the last the goddamn moment or whatnot. Ah, uh, took him to the end program. Give it a bit of a break. Ah, great. What's with his face? He didn't render properly. Or maybe I think I know what I'm going to do. For fuck's sake, give me a bit of a second. Alright, there you go, I'm back, but I know I'm back here. But hey, I mean, actually... Right. But yeah, but yeah I mean, like I was saying, I actually know I mean, what, what, what went wrong. Because, you know, Steam decided to synchronize the game file at the worst moment ever. I tried. But no. The bright side of me, the health is, is here does return, right? So that's a good thing. Regardless, I mean, the more the see this happens, the, uh, well, the less merit the patient's gonna have, and then they're going to skin my ass or whatnot. Hey, friend. Only one way out. Only one way. Yeah, thanks, man. How do you know you're not a patient? Hmm. Because I broke in this place uh, with a camel like a like one of those cringy ass YouTube vloggers cringy ass I admit sometimes I'm cringy at times or I was cringy in the past but hey we didn't knew all the better right I got this oh thank god I knew what I need to do Big fat boss over there too. Is there anything useful over here that I can, that can take? No, nothing. Fuck me. I believe it might be a little bit too late to wolf out. Well, I mean it will be if I just keep on over here for too long. Listen, yeah, it is too late now. But he has his need for destruction. There's a big bald head over there. Why well, hello there, big guy. That's a nice uh, nippy you got over there. And your huge cannibal belly over there too. I believe we should probably just get a move on, you know? Because uh, Murphy's Law dictated if he's there, he might have done what's stopping from doing like his uh, loop around. On the right side, these guys are fucking stupid as shit. That's some nice uh, low plug on there. If I had, of course, a more potent computer. Of course, the renders of his detail would be much more easily seen. Let's see how pointless this was. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm not a ghost, you imbecile! Jesus fucking Christ! 
Oh, that fucking thing! How the fuck am I supposed to hide? Hey. Fuck me. Okay, be, be like that then, huh? Get up there, 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 get up there. Fucking asshole! Uh, I can't. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump like that, like, oh shit. Of course, the vent is obvious if you go over there. He couldn't reach me in the fucking vent. Well, it was my fault to just see if I could hide underneath the fucking desk or whatnot. The bathroom, uh, what of course he easily grabbed me up there. But I'll jumpy jump and just. I'm good here. For fuck's sake. This pussy ever did some like physical activity or not? Fucking hell. Regardless, let's just get him move on. Fuck me. <sighs> Fuck this. Fuck you. <sighs> How ironic. Just uh, go away now. You uh, we should go see a uh, to get a new nose. Terrifying. Yeah, the animation is totally in synchronized with the <laughs> Okay, let's just gonna move on. Bathroom that he broke down, huh? Now, did you uh, die over here? I, I have no clue. Regardless, I just so you know, want to poke around, see if there's any uh, files or uh, some more batteries. Regardless, if I'm the batteries, with I'm all the way to eight. Aha! Uh -huh. As I thought. Now let's just get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck in there! Autistic reporter! There we go. Billy dreams. Hey, Ascendi. Another interesting conversation with Billy this morning. He says he's been talking to Dr. Wernicke again for his therapy in, in the white place. I'm disturbed by the fact that his delusions have only gotten worse with the medication. Which is in the literature for benzodiazepine. In any case, his, his dead doctor friend is, uh, f is filling his head with more German folklore. Apparently, the, thing, the only thing that can kill Wall Rider are the vampire butterflies vomited from a demon called Horror... 
Horror Z. The butterflies suck the breath from people's lips and drink blood from their Enough with the nipple drinking fetish, okay? They also take form of emaciated upright pigs or sick dogs, so Billy's got that going for him. You mentioned Billy talking about his mother's tattoos before. Are there any chance tattoos are in the look of butterflies? Next time I get outside the Markov firewall, I'm going to look online to see if there's any way of you know, actual basis in German folklore if Billy's making this garbage up from coal cloth. I would like to compare some notes for, for uh, some time. Wouldn't mind doing a glass of wine. Winky feet. It gets lonely up here on two. Kurt. Yeah, good luck. He can't reach me from in here, can he? I think not, but alright. Alright, he's gonna do with the, with the dead body over there. We're gonna push the dead body out of the way. We're gonna wait a bit a while. If anyone responds. May not be next time anytime soon, so better might as well get a move on. Or that was, you know, from the other spot. For one, I might have locked them out, or if not, I might have wanna lock myself with them. What the uh, they do over here with the patients, uh, photograph therapy? There you go. And the spirit bra breach. Uh, Reich Letter Longher and Dr. Mad Rug. I have pressing news concerning the ongoing work of Dr. Rudolf Wernick in the development of the morphogenic engine, expanding on the theories of developing his brief but unfortunate relationship with A. Turing. I have not witnessed it by myself, I would believe it happened, but beyond the promise on the cellular regeneration and guided cancer regeneration, I believe that Dr. Wernicke's method has breached the spiritual realm. Something crossed from the other side, and I personally witnessed the appearance of an apparition, an apparition being a ghost, briefly but undeniably so. Please forward my note and invitation to the to witness future further experiments to Dietrich uh, Eckhart. I will. I do not doubt that the Führer himself may need some may may need be aware of our discoveries. In my opinion, Dr. Wernicke succeeds. There represents an enormous opportunity for our car, the German people. And obviously sufficient reasons to keep him out of any sort of culling program. Regards your family. Since you're eligible. So like they uh translated the document, eh? Fuckers broke the door. Great. It's not like I needed to use this door at all. I mean, oh no 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 no. I mean why would I? Besides, this wimp of a report is, is mine enough to break down the door. But regardless, we got the note, so that's something. At least this works. Yes, I'm supposed to tell you. The key to the house of God is in the theater. Behind the light. In the theater, behind the light. Okay. To see the movie, so that's where I left the card. Okay? Alright. Good luck there, friend. Good luck. Recreation hall, huh? The fly brain the lobby. Might as well loot around, yeah? 
You'd expect this glass door to be smashed about now, right? Plot twist. It isn't. But again, recreation for the patients or recreation for the staff? I'm pretty sure that both of them are different. What's this? A gas leak, huh? Thankfully there's no need for hide or at the same time, better be. Oh my god, I have a feeling we'll be coming here like a soon enough. Any goodies left for me? No. As usual. And I'm starting to see it now. Right then. At least if we're booting the game, at least things are working out a lot better. But anyways, guys, I got a bit of myself like a bit of like a little dilemma. I need to uh, talk with. I mean, need to you know your opinion whether I should you or not. We both know that I've been using the 560 NVIDIA card for quite a bit of while now, right? But there is another video card that I can buy for only $50. A supposedly a 1060. Hello there. Yeah, the silent ones. They're no words, they're just going to bash their head on sink their teeth that they don't have a joint to you cuz why not yeah why not and it looks like something's missing perhaps I should be in some time So here's our fellow over here was playing his piano, yeah? Looked like he was able to cross from over here, but looked like not. I got a dead guard over here. I fear the dead people over here. The patients. Yeah, da, 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 da. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. Monsieur, I'm here. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances Don't of spontaneous bleeding. Don't look too Half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors. Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. Really? It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope. The human mind in this environment is capable of extraordinary things. And that's what you're trying to do. saying the experiment needed the proximity to this, to overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Really? Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? Give me a second, let's see the notes he took. The main... The man sounds like Dr. Strangelove's anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording interview with this Dr. Wernicke. Los Alamos means government work. Wernicke talks about spontaneous bleeding tumors and psychomanic reactions to sufficiently disturbed people. Seem like to walk a line between the science and Nazi m mysticism. 
Now we get out of the way. Only a test subject who have had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine on the movie they were projecting, it gets in my head, and like a song, it can't stop humming. I blink and saw the Rothart test that strong insects infected surgery wounds. Wait, I blink and I see Rothart tests look like swarmings? Ah. The patients talk about the engine who conjured the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Mm. So I oh. see. I think that they contacted something supernatural. Nothing is supernatural. Really? Then what was it? You said Project Wall Rider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Really? That fucking sucks, but alright. Uh, fair enough. Let me guess. Either the wall rider or our friend is gonna pop out in the middle of nowhere. To be honest, I think like a desk over here would be more like a uh, reasonable place to hide, I guess. But one thing I do know for sure, I mean, uh, that I've heard, if the wall rider sees you, there is no turning back, yeah? You have to find Vertigy. Only way. Yeah. I'll give that some promise, friend. Been here before? What do you got over here? Ah, battery. There you go. I ain't gonna let this go to waste. I'm gonna take it. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, then. Is there a reason why I should hide? Behind the light, they said, yeah? Behind the light. Jump into the uh, the window over there, yeah. I think so, at least I think. I'm only gonna need you know the regular uh, night vision for the time being, you know. So, uh, right. I throw the battery for this one here. So, what's the point of this one? Okay. <coughs> Makes sense, I'd say. Kind of looks like a machine gun if you think about it in a way. <laughs> Either close for the time being. I know I can keep this up to the third floor. Yada yada yada. Now some scripts are gonna be activated. Meaning that those bands of no one got almost have to pay. And they'll kill for it. Of course, there's always a, a sense of danger a looming in every corner and whatnot. By the way, what year the game is supposed to happen, actually? 
Because I mean, sometimes I think about it, uh, sometimes it's, uh, well, uh, never mind. I got it. Documents. A necrotting f necrotting face fa fash well that's like a disease that's, that seems to be fascist I think <clears throat> wash those hands regularly winky face yeah uh, here we got here the subject of uh, the flesh eating bacteria yeah, September 2013. Really? I fucking quit. Shit. <sighs> Alright. But yeah, I mean, there is a, a, a amoeba that actually consumes human flesh, you know, among other things. Amazing! That thing won't open. There's a light over there. It does help out quite a lot, I'll tell you that. for the time being. Couldn't identify who it was. And for a camera that, can, that is able to record up to three hours and more? I want a camera like that. Literally. Not always a good, not always a good place to be, you know. Oh, it's those guys. Right, right, right. And again, there were actually two of those guys, right? I mean, I could, uh, I could identify it by the body format. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, they were like twins or whatnot. I know those guys have like a, have a bit like a history behind, like Dr. Schrager and whatnot. Well, he's now like a squash potato, I'd say. Nice the cage, you animals. Right. Not a word. We're not in the clear yet. Till now. Well, hello there, beautiful. Huh. Yeah, I know. How the... How the, were those meth years going, huh? Or... With the crack, huh? That you guys were doing? That's, uh... Getting bread the... Bathroom is fucked up chromosome, it seems. Thank you, I guess. I expect like, a guy like that would, like, smash the freaking glass door, right? The elevator is here, but I'm pretty sure there is something more that needs to be done for this room. Right, let's try this other room then. A kitchen? Mm, sure, my elevator might be a little, bit, a little bit hungry. But I bet all the ingredients here must have been spoiled. Even by the supposed outbreak, right? It's a bit chilly over here. You sure you don't want to take, keep your pants? You don't want to take off your? You want to take off your pants? And the silent dude from before. Let's not be too idiotic and you know touch that fella. Yes, 
locked up. Obviously, when the place, I don't know if this might be like a one way or not. I have no clue. He took what notes he took. Static prayer. The, st the static again. The patient knelt in prayer. And he saw he bought Father Martin's line of bullshit. Maybe where? Maybe he hears what I hear clear more clearly. Maybe his ways to get out of this place. This priest called the Gospel of Sand. But what sand? I mean, sure. I mean, this place has young sound to be like a concrete and metal and wood and plaster what else and paper too really right give me a break right oh yeah I remember what I was doing it's like a way that he wants me to follow yeah, this is where the, the guy actually came from and uh, revealed himself. You'd expect like a battery or something around here. Maybe even a document, right? But, eh. Not. Again, it seems to be a little too dangerous to have a mirror around here. Or a reflective, uh, apparatus of any sorts. Don't fall to your shit, man. Don't fall to your shit. Even another one. And another one. To the Gospel of Sand. Yeah. They're like a little jeans over there, a little too tight for him. The chair made it made his head look big. Broken. I'll keep that in mind for now. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Whoa! I know. I, I just had to do it. On the bright side, I mean, they're all praying, which is, you know, supposedly make them passive, but they might go full Templar. And, uh,. Might me down in any given second. Oh, there we go. The Gospel of Judas. I am unworthy supplicant who can serve our Lord only by <coughs> pity our Lord. Please take me, old writer. Let let my shepherd's apostle see it and spread it with his lies for greater truth. Your time upon the world has come. My flesh longs for your beautiful wrath. My blood is filled with, with you and waiting to be set free. This is my prayer. Write your gospel in my flesh. Whatever that case might be. Alright. Oh, there you go. Perfect. As well, like, you know, if we could, like, lower the staggering that would be much better oh look at that it's blocked off but with good reason I bet it was this one yeah if like we could please focus that would be actually a whole lot better yeah I'm not into committing suicide about now but sure is quite a uh, Quite a long fall, isn't it? Should use some use some pants. That would be much better. God hates sickness, and thus sets you free to cure it. Yeah. <sighs> eh, figures. With whispers like this, I believe only the wall rider shows 
Not far off, I believe. And not through the chapel we go. Okay then. And there the My job. You alone shall escape the Talva. This is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. You will watch and record my death, my resurrection. And together we will be free. Fair enough. You are no longer in any danger. I fixed the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. Now, my son. You were the good man. The passion for Father Martin. I can't believe Father Martin, it wanted upon Jesus Christ himself sh in shitty ways to die, and I don't believe I'm going to miss him. A way out if he's telling the truth. I've got a way out, and I got a story to tell. He wanted to spread the gospel, and I'll tell the whole fucking world. Or is it what we believe it would be? Let's we go. Oh, clear so far. Yep. <clears throat> oh, fuck me. I believe escape is anywhere, but, uh... Why now? Oh, for fuck's sake, there is no place to hide, is it? Ho 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 ho, I'm Santa Claus! Ho ho ho! That's for the work! Hello there, beautiful! Yeah, I know, this is like a shitty room. I know, I get it. But you've gotta be one way fucking kidding me, I'd say. Where'd I go? Where'd I go? <laughs> Holy hell. Ah, fuck, I'm... Okay. Unbelievable. So Father Martin did fix the elevator, right? And now off we exit. God was thinking helpful, like to say. Oh, come on now.
right when I had the exit, the thing just uh, kicked a fist in my face, huh? Oh, no, 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 that's totally fair. Why would it not be fair? Sure, the way out. If you just bust his old bed open and then start calling the fucking thing up, right? That was an option, by the way. Now it's just a hellhole. It's pretty fucking obvious now, what it seems. What the fuck hell is this? Uh, cave, a cave place here. Yes, there I go. Uh. Well, see the notes. From the mountain. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoever finds my corpse, trust no one and tell everyone. I am not crazy. I know I know. Only people say that. Or only creepers people say that. But I'm as sane as this world allows. With a camera full of evidence, don't call it a gospel. Call it a mockery of reason. Let the world know it's a Murkoff's fault. Buried his passage in my mutilated dead body. But I mean, so far as you can see, like, we're in a, a whole new sector of our world or whatnot. Besides. It's all the time I had here for the time being. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as, much, as much as I did. And I look forward to the next one. So I'll see you guys next time. And until then.